You know what's uh you know what offense is struggling right now? The Yankees. A little bit. Yeah. I'm not saying that the sky is falling, but I was watching the Yankees and the Cardinals last Sunday, in fact. Good game. And uh the Yankees out hit the Cardinals fifteen to eleven, ended up losing that game. Now, to me, that is a telltale sign that the offense that day was very inefficient. Now, what is an efficient offense? Ep, we've talked about that on this show before. An efficient offense is if you score more runs than you get hits in an inning. The Yankees are doing the opposite. See, I, I always love when, when announcers or I hear people say, well, that was a good inning. That was a really good inning there from the, from the Guardians. They ended up scoring three runs, the Guardians, using this as an example, three yeah. runs on six hits. That's not an efficient offense to me. That's a bunch of bunch of hits strung together. You scored three runs, but I'd rather you score three runs on three hits, mix in a couple of walks, because if you do that, you're mixing in walks. You're getting maybe getting hit by a pitch. You're hitting for extra bases. You're seeing more pitches. That's an efficient offense, and I think over time, that is what separates – the best offenses in the postseason teams offensively than mm -hmm. the teams that quite frankly, sure. aren't going to make the postseason. That's to me what an efficient offense is. And I think that's pro part of the problem right now with the Yankees. I saw it last Sunday. They out again, out hit the Cardinals 15 to 11 and they ended up losing. What was the score? Do you remember? I don't remember the score. It was like, yeah. a, I don't know. At Cardinals, but here's the thing. The Cardinals, I think won by four. Why'd they win by four? Because Nolan Arenado hit a three run home run late efficient yeah. inning. That's where efficient innings lead to. Yep. Gives you that insurance. Yeah, no, no, I mean, that's, you know, guys, I mean, that's not a Yankees inning, right? I mean, they hit right. the ball so hard and the ballparks are so small that if you hit a hard ball, it's typically a double, you know, or it's going to go over the fence. So, you know, I, I don't know. I didn't break down the box score. Maybe they beat the shift on a couple. Not really thinking that <laughs> happened. You know, a couple scratched a couple in. Not definitely not hitting with runners in scoring position, um, but you're right. It's it's like being diversified in your retirement portfolio. You know, getting on base without having to get a hit all the time because you're not going to get ten hits a game. You're gonna you got to find a way to to win a game with five hits. You know, how oh. can we do that? You know, a, a, a bloop and a blast, or a a, a walk or two walks and a blast, something like that. That's kind of where the game is right now because you're not going to get fifteen hits in the postseason. Pitching's too good. At least the pitching once you get down to the the last, you know, six teams. Right. Cardinals are a team to be reckoned with. I know there's one team out there yeah, they're, that they're if they were, if they were to get in to the postseason, this team, and they were to say, be the team that, uh, what's the rule now where the last team, last seeded team has to go on the road for three games or go on the road for yeah. the best of three. There's one team that I see that could actually beat that. I'm not going to name that team right now. Maybe never. Good comment, then, Jim. I'm going to give everybody. <laughs> give everybody Wait, a, build that one up. Give everybody a cliffhanger <laughs> for the rest of their life. Yeah. You're never going to tell. Them. Maybe I'll reveal it if it actually happens. Okay, there There's you go. One team that I could see. All right, be sure to subscribe to the show and leave a review. Apple, Google, Spotify. Plenty of material that we've done today that you could leave a review on, like my stupid stories, but. Leave a review and uh, subscribe to the YouTube page. You got to go to the YouTube page, people. Like, yeah, seriously. The Lab, the lab Epstein the content, podcast. The content on there with the voiceovers is it's cool. worth a lot of money. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. You can learn from it. It's like, uh, you know, free hitting information that actually works. 